The first initial question you might have about CBD is, what is it? Well, like THC, CBD is a cannabinoid. It has a ton of health benefits. But unlike THC, it's non-intoxicating, which is why it's gained a ton of popularity lately. And you might even see CBD in your local grocery store or in the gas station. But be very, very careful. CBD and fake CBD has been flooding the market. And you don't want to buy a product that's been made in an industrial setting. So you really want to look for organic products or activating and making your own CBD products. So if you take a look at the CBD flower, you might be surprised at how much it looks like a THC dominant strain. And in fact, that's one thing that people aren't really aware of is that hemp and CBD often look very interchangeable in plants. It's really about the composition and how much THC and how much CBD is in a plant. So this is a primarily CBD dominant strain. So we can see, and you can see in the testing results below, that there's over 11% potential CBD after we activate this strain. So right now, it's almost exclusively in CBDA, and just like THCA, CBDA needs to be activated, decarboxylated, in order to be bioavailable. So we would go and take the flower, place it in the decarboxylator, and when it comes out, just like your THC flower, you can sprinkle it, put it in food, infuse, and for CBD, CBD is a little bit different than THC when it comes down to the decarb process. And it really is dependent on how much THC and how much CBD is in your particular strain. So where you have a strain that is a, a mix, CBD and THC, so where it has more than 1% THCA or potential THC, then you're gonna wanna do just one run through the Nova. And we have testing results on this CBD flower to show you what happens with one run through the Nova. And you get really great decarb, not 100% full decarb, but really good solid decarb. If you do want to crank out that last bit of CBD from that CBDA, you can go and take this flower, run it two times to get the most CBD. And so take a look at the testing results. You'll see that we did a single decarb and then a double decarb. And you can take a look and see that both of them had excellent results, but the double decarb did squeeze out and crank out a little bit more CBD. So after you decarb with CBD, there are plenty of amazing things that you can do with it. You can make lotions, you can incorporate CBD into food, anything that you can do with THC, you can do with CBD um, as well. THC and CBD do work better in tandem together, so don't let anybody fool you and let you believe that CBD is a, is a cure-all in and of itself. In fact, there is so much merit to the entourage effect and THC and CBD augmenting each other, so please keep your mind open to augmenting with C THC and understand that it may be a necessity for your condition in order to relieve the symptoms. So what we did here is we uh, took our coconut oil kit and our CBD, and just like we always do, we took one gram of decarb material, and we actually did use the double decarb material, and we infused that with one, uh, one ounce of oil. So we took our double decarb material and mixed that with one ounce of coconut oil infused it right in the decarboxylator and if you want to learn more about infusing with the Nova go and check out our infusion guide and our infusion videos and when this came out it had about a hundred milligrams per ounce and so that's over 80 percent infusion rate just from your CBD flower and only one gram so we will be back to tell you and show you more about CBD it's so important to see testing results to know what you're getting to know that you're putting the best in your body and giving the best to your friends and family.